you are the universe, but you're experiencing a human universe. Okay, so I'm going to now conclude with uh, just four ideas. If you can, if you can ingest them and feel them and know them, it will be your ticket to freedom. Okay, so the first idea is that everything that you're experiencing in every moment of time is a projection of your conditioned mind. Conditioned. Conditioned by religion, conditioned by science, conditioned by theology, conditioned by politics, conditioned by economics, conditioned by history, etc. So this is a projection of the conditioned mind, including your body. But your whole mind is not that. Your whole mind is awareness, which is the substance out of which the whole universe is made. Okay? So number one, if you don't like what's happening around you, there's no solution out there. You have to shift in your own being. Okay? Number two, There is no such thing as an ego. It's another human construct. There is no such thing. It doesn't exist. So to be, to be identifying with the hallucination is very silly. <laughs> and when you're identifying with this hallucination called the ego, then it makes it necessary for you to remain offended for the rest of your life. <laughs> You're at the mercy of every stranger on the street. <laughs> so get rid of it. And how do you get rid of it? Just observe it. Whenever it acts up, you don't feel good. Number three, the real you was never born and therefore is not subject to death. The real you is being. Being is not in time. Being had the experience of a baby, of a child, of a teenager. Being is having this experience, but being itself is not in time. So birth and death and bodies and minds and universe, these are all human constructs. All you are is a being, a spirit, having a human experience. Or if I was to rephrase it in science, I'm a non-local being having a local experience. <laughs> and the last, last thing, if you can remember, if you can see it and touch it and taste it and smell it, if you can imagine it, if you can conceptualize it, it's not real. <laughs> All it is is a transient arising and subsiding in your own being. Only the formless is real. Okay, everything that has a form is actually an activity, it's a phenomenon. And what's it a phenomenon in? In your own being. So Tagore was a great Indian sage, a great Indian poet, he met Einstein, and in fact, the book, when you read the book, you'll see it begins with that conversation between Einstein and Tagore. And Tagore was very wise. At the end of his life, he said, in this playhouse of infinite forms, I caught sight of the formless. And so my life was blessed. Only the formless is real. What that which has form is an arising and subsiding in that which is formless. So if you can think of those four things, everyday reality is a projection of the conditioned mind. Number two, ego doesn't exist. Number three, the real you was never born and is not subject to death. And number four, you are the formless being whose activity is form and phenomena. This. And it can be a wonderful experience if we can do it with love, compassion, joy, empathy, and equanimity, which are what the great teachers tell us, divine emotions, because they connect us to the source. 
Thank you.